The heavy truck is going 50 kilometers an hour when it hits the bollard and is stopped in its tracks. Ever since the terror attacks in Nice, Berlin and elsewhere, which were carried out with trucks, the demand for security bollards is on the rise. They're made by companies like Zabag, an engineering firm based in eastern Germany that specialises in security technology. The bollards were originally designed to block access roads to airports, embassies or research facilities. Now the demand for security technology has increased. Customers include ordinary companies, as well as the military, intelligence facilities and government buildings across Germany and Europe. Their gate systems are available at different levels of security, depending on the potential risk to the premises. Because of the new security threat, the requirements have now changed. The systems have to be even more sturdy, and of course they incorporate certain kinds of technology, like video cameras, for example. These can have a preventive function to a certain extent. That way, we can try to prevent potential attackers from approaching a property unnoticed and doing harm to it. The need for greater security is also transforming public areas. Places that are open to the public can't just be sealed off. We're seeing more and more CCTV cameras. Cell phones are being tracked, movement profiles generated. No one knows where the next attack might take place, and terrorists often target the general public. Security experts say that even cutting-edge technology can't prevent every attack. There's a balancing act between what we'd call the public's positive subjective sense of security and the technical capabilities and efficiency of these systems. Until now, the political tendency has been that if something is technically doable, we do it. That might boost our subjective sense of security, but it's not a good solution. We're clearly headed on the path towards the transparent citizen, where privacy doesn't exist. Then our sense of security will be replaced by a sense of being under constant surveillance. And that's a problem for democracies, of course. The Zutkoitz railway station in Berlin bristles with security cameras, 77 of them in all. A pilot project here is testing new facial identification technology. The main question under study is how to filter out specific individuals within a large crowd of people. It's the proverbial needle in the haystack. You have to dig through the entire haystack to find the needle. But that isn't always the solution. Often you know the identity of the perpetrator or suspect, but you lack the resources to monitor them around the clock. Security technology companies are doing a thriving business, in no small part due to the fear of terrorist attacks. Sabag produces some 600 gate systems each year, including everything from security bollards to high security entrance ways. For now, it doesn't look like demand will be dropping anytime soon. <laughs>